That works. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Let's just, let's just wing it, shall we? Okay. I'm here at Forest City Comic Con 2016 with Tracy Moore. Hi. Who you will recognize definitely from such classic, iconic characters and cartoons as the original Sailor Moon. Yay! And uh, you were also the uh, voice director on several episodes as well. Were you, were you I was the original voice director and I cast the series. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay. And what was it like uh, working on that series and, and when it got really, really huge? I mean, uh, how, how, what is that like when, when you, suddenly you're in this series that just millions of people just love? It wasn't, it wasn't expected to do well because it was odd, very odd at the time. It was the first anime. No one had ever seen a character that whose mouth got bigger than their head, things like that. <laughs> right. And so, um, giant teardrop. It was a real, it was a real challenge. A small company was doing it, so no one expected it to be as as huge as it got. And I'm very excited about that because I think it had a consciousness in it that wasn't existing in North America at the time, and especially about a feminine power. Yes. So yeah, yeah. No, it was really, it's really exciting. I'm very happy that you know it caught on the way it did, and cons like this sprung from you know it was seminal in those kinds of things. Uh, and uh, it's also known for several incarnations of the Care Bears. This as is well. uh, Shrieky oh, and got two of them now. Okay. I'm Shrieky and Hugs and Cheer and and Share Bear in the new one. Yep. So that's uh, old school, and that's uh, more recent. Old school era. and new school. Yeah. Yeah. So you're working alongside Mr. Beastly, uh, John oh, Stalker. Oh, John Stalker, good friend of mine. Absolutely, and he also was a voice director on Sailor Moon. Uh, he was a third or fourth one, yeah. Oh yeah. He did the last one, yeah. <laughs> There's a few of them, absolutely. And he went for a while. One thing that uh, some fans uh, may not be aware is that Tracy was also in the beloved X-Men cartoon, oh, oh. the Fox Kids oh, '90s X-Men cartoon, which had pretty much an all Canadian cast. Knows this. <laughs> yes, I'm a big fan of anybody. But honestly, right behind Batman, the animated series, most people's favorite action cartoon of all time is X-Men, and it's such a huge deal yes. now that X-Men is more popular than ever. Yes. Um, so Tracy here was not only the voice of the White Queen, Emma Frost, but she was also the voice of Phoenix. So when Jean Grey became the Phoenix, it became a very large, almost operatic kind of voice, you know? What was it like working on that show with uh, you know, Dan Hennessy and, and the whole crew? They're all friends. So, uh, yeah, so I know them all. Like, Dan was in the Care Bears. He was uh, Ray Part Lion. That's right. And so, you know, we did uh, a lot of the cartoons together out of Nirvana. So, um, it was, I mean, they're great to work with. It's a great studio, great time. We had a blast. And it's good to see it's so popular. Popular as ever. Absolutely, yeah. It's not, you know, it's not just nostalgia. Everything that you've done is, you know, translating today, it still holds up today. Yeah, I'm you know, really lucky about yeah. that. A lot of epic cartoons or classics, I guess. Absolutely. It's yeah. very dear to our hearts. And, uh, you know, I, I own all of the entire X-Men series. Like I said, I'm a huge, huge fan. Oh, awesome. uh, a lot of the stuff that you've done. Um, and uh, one last thing I wanted to ask about you is, you know, anything that you want to promote that you're uh, doing right now or uh, also anywhere we can find you online? Hmm. Um, I'm just coming online. Okay. Um, I'm just doing, redoing a website and I'm doing some teaching online. A big, big online classes that you can order a series of classes for voice acting. That's coming up. Uh, that should be up on by February. And that because I get I get asked a lot and I'm directed and um, cast, so I I'm aware of what you need to do. And so um, rather than have to do you know live classes which take a lot of time. You can just order these, um, and there'll be a book also. Um, and the other thing, I'm, oh, I'm working on a I'm producing a series, and uh, I can't tell you about it. But it's <laughs> okay. really good, and you're gonna love it. Well, stay if tuned. you like my work, you'll love it. Yeah, well, stay tuned to uh, to your IMDb page and uh, wiki page and all that. And we'll, we'll follow you that way. Oh, I should say, I just finished a series, a new series online called Shield Star Knights. You might want to look at that. And um, also an ebook called Tale of the Sasquatch. I do all the voices on that. And uh, those are really good friends who created those, and they're very good people. So maybe, maybe you would be interested in checking it out. Absolutely, and as a huge uh, fan of, of voice work, you know, even as a dude, you know, <laughs> I must say that your work is very inspiring, uh, as all of those great actors are. Yeah. You know, like we mentioned, Dan Hennessy, John Stalker, Len yeah, Carlson, good the list goes on. All great. Toby yeah. Proctor, all you know. great. Toby. Oh, yeah. In fact, I gave Toby his first job in Sailor Moon. Oh wow! I did. You got him the, the tuxedo mask. I, I cast him as tuxedo mask. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hi, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's awesome, Tracy. I thank you so much for your time. My great pleasure. And uh, Forest City Comic Con is wrapping up right now. 
but I want you all to tune into my channel and check out all the great interviews, all the footage, and all the beautiful costumes that we have here at the convention. Oh, awesome. So stay tuned to that, and thank you very much again, Tracy. A great pleasure. You are awesome. Thanks for having me.